So hey, it's Feature Friday again. So this is part two on inspection forms. This is where we're gonna get into some of the different ways that you can use inspection forms. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so let's get right to it. We're gonna use that inspection form that we built in part one by way of a work order. Kind of the hard way first. So we're just gonna go right to work order tracking. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create myself a new work order. And I'm going to say, do the inspection. Okay. I'm going to choose a particular asset. You'll see why here in just a moment. And the work type is going to be inspection. Priority doesn't really matter, but I'm going to choose 20. And we're going to roll down on the main screen here of the work order. And what we're after are the field here called inspection form. Okay, so we're going to then go do select value. And if you recall in part one, we associated this inspection form 1024 with this specific asset 121. So we get a recommended inspection form and there could be more than one on here as well. Certainly you can always select other inspection forms that are in your system but for convenience, we're able to choose 1024. Let's go ahead and save the work order at this point. And you'll notice that there is an inspection result that gets filled in by the system. So when the inspection is complete, the result is what you're going to see sitting on the asset record under work details. We'll show you that later on. Let's go now and change the status of the work order. We're going to change this to approved. Click OK. And let's assign somebody to the work order. We'll say that's going to be me. And with that, our work order is ready to be used. OK, so since we associated the inspection form with the work order, albeit manually, we should be able to use the work order to perform the inspection. So just for fun, we're going to use the role-based mobile technician application here and go ahead and give that a click. It'll take a moment for the records to settle down, but then I should be able to find or see the 1441 work order. And if I roll down here to the bottom of the screen, I see 1441 all ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and click the work order. And once the records settle, you will see an inspection icon looks like a target. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. That will open up the inspection form should look familiar to us at this point. And then very importantly, over on the right hand side, before we get too excited, click start. First thing I can do is enter a meter reading. I'm going to say that 250 is the value that I see in front of me here. And then I just simply move to the next question. In this case, I've taken a picture and I'm going to click on upload a file. And there's the picture that's on my mobile device. I'm going to choose that, click open. Then I move down to the next question. I'm going to say that the condition of the equipment is good. And then I'm going to choose a text response here. And it says, all looks good. And then in the upper right, I'm going to go ahead and click on complete. After a moment, the form returns and says, you're done. You click done and you can move on to your next task. So to see what that inspection form looks like when it's completed, let's jump over to the assets application. And we'll go take a look at that asset 121, where we just finished the inspection on. Open that up. And as you know, you can see all of the work under the work tab. Go ahead and choose that. And you're able to see the work orders. There's our 1441, that, um, the work order that's still open, uh, still approved in the system. But then if you want to see the actual inspection form that exists, you go to view work details, open up the inspections tab, and here's where you're going to see those uh, inspections as well. These are the inspection results like we talked about. And now if you'd like to see the meter readings, 
Let's go to the meters tab on that same asset and we can go ahead and expand that out and you can see the meter reading that came in from that completed inspection form has landed in this meter that's defined to this asset. And that's it. So we created a basic form, attached it to a work order, filled it out, and now you can see the results. And this is one way of using inspection forms. Okay, a couple of other ways that you can use these inspection forms. One is by job plans, and the other is by setting up route stops. So for job plans, if I go to planning, and I bring up a job plan here, and I've got one that's uh, rather uh, available to me here. I'm going to call it 1031. Okay. And this is a job plan that uh, is ready to go to indicate that inspections need to be done. Okay. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add a task. Okay. And the task description is going to be do the inspection. And you'll notice down here towards the bottom, I have an opportunity to choose the inspection form. And very similar to what I've done before, I'm going to choose a value and I'm going to use 1024 for this particular one. And then I just go up and save the job plan. So now, uh, once it's saved, of course, I'm going to activate the job plan. And once that's done, I can now use this job plan anywhere and it's activated. And so now I can use this job plan on a PM. I could use this job plan on a route stop. I could use this job plan uh, on a work order as well. And it will always reference that inspection form and make it available in whatever vehicle I'm using there. For example, a resulting work order. So now let's use inspection forms on a route. So again, if I go to planning and I open up routes, and I conveniently have a route already prepared for me here, 1031. And recommendation that uh, taking this approach, make sure that your route stops show up as work order tasks, just a little easier for people to understand what to do. You simply come along here, create a new route stop. The asset I'm gonna use is uh, 121 again. And you'll notice over here on the inspection form, I can choose that value. And I get that recommended form, just like I've seen previously. And I'm going to go ahead, just for fun, to create a second route stop. Okay, I'm going to have a slightly different asset. This is going to be 122. And I'm going to choose the same inspection form. I could use a different form if I wanted to. Now, that particular, particular asset does not have an inspection form uh, related to it. So I have to go down through my list here manually. I'm going to find the same form, 1024, and choose that. Now I go up and simply save the route, and we're good to go. Let's now go over to a PM and kind of put these two things together. So if I go to the preventative maintenance module, go to PM, and again, I've got a PM all ready for me to use here. It's going to be 1068, and it looks like it found it. And you can see this PM is already pointing to that Route 1031 that I just added those two tasks to. You know, or you could use the job plan that I just created um, as well. You'll note that the work type in the resulting work order is intended to be inspection. And then, of course, whatever status suits your business needs. I'm going to go ahead and save the PM. Then I'm going to change its status and it'll be active. And then from here, just for our purposes, I'm going to go ahead and generate a work order from this thing. I'm not going to use a frequency criteria and let it grind away and create a work order. So it created the work order, 1442, and you can see it also generated two tasks, which we would expect, one task for each route stop. Click close. And let's go find that work order. Work order tracking, 1442, there it is. And as one would expect, if we go look at the plans, we should see those two tasks. There's the route stops right there. If I take a look at each task, I can roll down and I will see the inspection form. Now, this work order is in a waiting to be scheduled status. Let me go back there. Okay, it is not approved yet, 
That's why we did not see an inspection result uh, in that field. But this, workers or, this work order sorry, is all ready to go for your planning and scheduling and assigning just like any other work order. Thank you.